Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you have never been to my channel, thank you for stopping by. And if you um, have seen my videos but are not subscribed yet, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button for me if you like my vibe, like the content that I'm bringing forward, and um, let's get into it. As you see in the title, I'm going to be doing um, a Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm just going to be realistic with you that um, all my products you could probably get at Walgreens. So there's that. I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair today because I washed it a couple days ago. It's not good to wash your hair every day. I'm wearing my Victoria's Secret robe just because today is about loving yourself. And if you have a significant other, that's great too. So let's get started. So after priming my eyelids, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette. And the first two shades I'm using in this shot is Tempura and Golden Ochre as a mixture as my transition shade. Update. I got my nails done. Look at these, y'all. They're like holographic on the pink and white. And then I have this like clear nail with some iridescent hearts on it. Aren't those cute, y'all? After applying those two shades, I'm going to also add the Venetian Red Love Letter and Red Ochre throughout the corner of my eye and make it a darker crease as I build the colors together. So I'm going to add a little bit of glitter. I'm going to be using the Naked Cosmetics Glitter Shadow in the shade Desert Sunset. I actually received this in an Ipsy bag a while ago and I just found it. So I may actually purchase some more Naked Cosmetics products. Next, I'm applying my foundation. I actually had already previously put on my primer, it's just not shown. But for my foundation, I'm going to be using a foundation that I actually got from Sephora as a sample. But unfortunately, I don't know what I used, my bad. I'm still learning how to be a beauty guru. So my setting powder, I'm actually going to be using the e.l.f. finishing powder in the shade Light Medium. So after applying my foundation and setting powder, I like to go back underneath my eye and add a little bit of the Venetian Red and Love Letter mixed because it likes to give it that nice smoky eye look but with a twist and it being pink. Next I'm going in with the CoverGirl True Blend Serving Sculpt Palette. It comes with a bronzer, blush, and highlight so I'm going to be using those three colors. For my eyebrows, I'm actually going in with the Ulta Brow Tint Gel in the shade Deep. I ran out of my Anastasia, so I always use this as an alternative, and it actually makes my eyebrows look a little bit more natural. For my liquid eyeliner, I'm actually going in with the Revlon Color Stay Skinny Liquid Liner in the shade Black, and honestly guys, this is one of my favorite eyeliners besides the Stila liquid pen. So 
So I will be applying falsies for this look. I got these lashes at Target. I believe they are the Kiss Natural Lashes, like the Wispies. I'm not 100% sure, but you can get similar lashes like this literally anywhere. So to cover up the eyelash glue, even if it's dark eyelash glue, you always want to go over top of it with the liquid liner just so it all blends together. So for my lipstick today, I'm going to be using the Mega Last Liquid Catsuit Matte Lipstick by Wet n Wild in the shade Rebel Rose. So to blend my natural lash and falsies together, I'm using the Falsies Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. After that dries, I usually squeeze my natural lash and the falsies together and it kind of blends it. That way it looks like one singular lash. Hey guys, thanks for watching my Valentine's Day makeup look. I'm actually headed to work today and then I don't really know what me and my boyfriend have planned. I think we might just chill at the house, maybe order one of those heart-shaped pizzas and pig out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Definitely hit that subscribe button and also turn your post notifications on after you hit subscribe. Also like the video for me, it helps me out a lot. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.